always had that confidence that I could play in the league, but I guess that moment where I knew for sure, um, I was I was with the Jets. I got drafted to the Jets, and I was kind of I was the young corner. Darrell Reeves was there. We had a bunch of other older uh, corners that were there. So I was, you know, I was I was there. I was trying to work my way up, but I was the young guy. Um, but a lot of the time, I would get matched up on, on Brandon Marshall, um, and that was yeah, that was something that was like, oh man, this is this is one of the best receivers you know for a while um mm -hmm. he's been in the league for a while and i'm i'm the young guy coming in i think he was year 11 year 12 something you know he was up there he's established himself and um uh him and ryan fitzpatrick they were you know they had their connection going but um i you know i made an interception uh over over brandon marshall uh garden brandon marshall and that was just kind of my welcome to the nfl moment um you know along with you know walking into the locker room and, and darrell reeves is sitting right there you know you, wow. you know, you grow up a corner and, and Darrell Reeves is sitting right there. You're like, wow. So uh, those are those are kind of like my welcome to the to the NFL moments. And it was that was, you know, those were amazing. You talk about Revis being there in the room with you. Do you is it funny to see on the other side now some of the guys, you know, JC and Dante having that reaction to Gilmore walking through the room yeah. when you're getting ready for practice? I mean, just like that's a guy that's that's made so many plays in the league. That's a that's a corner who was an NFL defense player of the year. And that's, you know, that's that's amazing in itself. That's that's um, that's something that's hard to do, um, especially with the uh, volume of, of passes that he, you know, probably gets. And, you know, whereas a linebacker or a DN can, you know, get to the quarterback every every play. But just to, you know, somebody like that who's made those plays, who's won that many times, who's won championships uh, to come into our organization and the things he was able to implement and um, how he went about um, things was great for for uh, Dante and, and JC and, and our our young corners, um, and it was great for me. You know, I was a I was a safety. I was in year six, so I wasn't as young as them. But just to see somebody who won a championship in this league, who's um, who who knows what it takes to get the job done, um, I wanted to you know sit back and take notes and, and see how he went about his business. I was always a guy who wanted to know more uh, about the playbook, who wanted to know where everybody's position was, what everybody did. Um, and just my transition from uh, being a guy who majority uh, matched up against bigger receivers. Um, you know, I didn't really go into the slot too much. I was more so matched up against bigger receivers, tight ends type things, even when I was a corner. Um, so that transition, um, being able to match up and be in the box and uh, be able to guard those tight ends, that was kind of a transition that I wanted to further my career. And, um, you know, once that happened, you know, I kind of hit the ground running as soon, you know, it was a few practices here and there. I was like, oh man, this is a lot of communication. This is a lot of, you know, I got to talk to this side, talk to that side, talk to my linebackers. But once I picked that up, um, it was, it was, it was amazing. I loved it. I love being, I love being the quarterback of the defense. I love being back there talking. Um, I love being back there, you know, making sure everybody knew what they had to do. Uh, and, you know, being somebody that they could rely on to, um, you know, be that safety of the defense. So just to harken back to your time in uh, with, with the Jets, uh, you know, you, you having played with the future Hall of Famer and Darrell Revis and playing with a guy, one of the all-time greats, Brandon Marshall. What are some of the things that they did that you see in younger players that they that they show the potential of, you know, getting uh, possibly getting to that level or something that you learned that you possibly want to give the younger players? Uh, I got two. Um, for one for one for each. Um, I'll start with Revis. Uh, his is more football. And I would see him every day, man. He'd have his he had his playbook and he was just going through play after play, go back, go back a play, see what happened. He would, you know, his he was so meticulous in his uh, in his preparation in trying to, you know, trying to figure out just just to get one one little edge on whatever receiver uh, he was checking. And, you know, I could see obviously, you know, that that year was that 2009, 2010, where he just, you know, he pretty much locked up every uh, number one receiver in, in the NFL, um, and just just to see how meticulous he was, um, just leverage, uh, stance, eyes, uh, trying trying to figure out. Oh, if he came out and he, he grabbed his gloves, oh, it's a it's a it's a pass play. Um, if he came out, he just walked out the huddle without finishing the finishing the rep or finishing uh, the quarterback's um, quarterback's play. Oh, it's a run. Uh, whether where he lined up, uh, where um, if he lined up inside the numbers, he was probably going out or was going across from us. If he lined up outside the numbers, we're coming inside. Things like things like that. I've seen him um, 
and it, it transitioned it translated over into practice where i would see him literally run a route for a receiver you know he'd be going against the scout team and you know they'd be running the dig and he's breaking on the dig before they even ran because he's seen what number two is doing he's seeing where the quarterback move is doing that that level of detail was was amazing to see and then the second one was brandon marshall was a, more so off the field um and just how he handled himself is because I've always had a business mindset, but I didn't know exactly where to take it when I was uh, 21, 22 years old coming into the league. And he kind of, he would give me a book here, tell me tell me to read this, tell me to read that. We'd have a conversation because he was, you know, he was my locker mate. He, he, he was right beside me um, when, I, when I was a rookie. And just seeing that kind of a person that was looking past um, his, his NFL career, where he wanted to go next, and the things he was doing, going to, he wanted to come to New York so he can go to New York and be on TV. It was amazing to see, and that kind of got my head, you know, turning and trying to get, you know, get my gears turning on what I wanted to do after football and uh, try to, you know, trying to turn that light on uh, sooner than sooner than later.